congratulations on uh, joining a first place team, a new team for you. What's this like as you show up in Toronto and suddenly you're in a new clubhouse? Well, it's different. It's weird, you know. I mean, these guys are a family already, and you're kind of just uh, walking to somebody else's house right now and, um, you know, trying to just assimilate yourself. So the guys have been really welcoming today, um, getting to know everybody a little bit. Look forward to that, uh, the, the days to come here. And then I think it's very interesting, a lot like the left fielder that you're going to be replacing for the majority of the time in left field, Alex Gordon, you learned to play the outfield after you became a major league baseball player. Right, yeah. It wasn't until, I guess it would be 2008 when I started playing some outfield. Um, Joe Madden, you know, wanted to make me a utility player. And I said, all right, if that gets me a bats, I'll do it. And, uh, you know, it turned out to be a good move because obviously my career has gone pretty well since I've been able to move around the field and, and help the ball clubs I've been on. And I hope to do more of that here. And I want to share a comment that I read that Joe Madden made about you. He said, He's a complete player, but he lacks chrome. And I took that as being a very big compliment, meaning that you're not a flashy player. You're not going to be a guy that you're going to show anybody up. You're going to play the game hard. You're going to play it the right way. And talk about the influence that Joe Madden may have had on you. Yeah, well, Joe, you know, Joe has kind of given me my nickname. He's he's the guy that's touted me more than anybody. He really has gotten my name out there more than it probably should have been. But, <laughs> it, you know, he's given me a lot of opportunity, and I'm thankful uh, thankful to him for that. And, um, you know, really he's the guy that, that convinced me that being a utility player and playing every day would be something I could do. So um, believed in me, and, and uh, you know, I've kept that with me. Um, you know, I think as far as being a, a player like that goes, you know, he – I've just started to believe those things, you know, that I can go out there and play hard. And even though I might not make the, the craziest plays out there, um, it, you know, or it might not be really exciting to watch at times, you know, I could be a solid player for the team and I can help uh, help a lot of teams win games. All right, two quick final things. One, could you have ever imagined when all that bean brawl stuff was going on that you would be a Kansas City Royal? You handled it, by the <laughs> way, politically correct the other day. Yeah, no, I, I certainly didn't. I'm glad that I wasn't right in the middle of it um, <laughs> because that would have made it even more awkward. Uh, but, you know, I, I look forward to getting to know these guys better and, and competing alongside them now. And last thing, I, he hasn't said he hasn't even had a chance to meet you yet, but Rusty Kuntz, he gave up his 18 for you. Um, a lot of guys want, like, jewelry and watches and all this fancy stuff. He said he just wants a, a leaf blower. <laughs> Yeah, apparently he's he's really into uh, yard work and, and really really wants to um, you know get that fall season taken care of. So he, he was excited that um, I could do that for him. I'm excited to get the number, so I'm thankful for it. All right, very good. First of our transaction involving a leaf blower, I assume. Ben, welcome to the Kansas City Royals. We're really looking forward to watching you play. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.